So we've managed to locate another hyena. And this one actually looks like a female that could potentially have young ones. I don't know if you see on the belly there, there's a slight bulge. So it looks like she's got milk at the moment, which would be quite interesting. We're actually in an area where they used to have a den. Um, it's just off of Gauri, Maine. There was a den that used to be here for quite a long time. And so I wonder if she's not coming to sniff around for any s sort of sign of a place where they can put the den. Um, it would be quite nice if they came back and denned in this area. It's a pretty little part of the world and, and a really nice den. And it would be really great to have hyenas back and denning on Juma. So I'm hoping that this hyena is kind of coming to sniff around here. But definitely got signs that it's got little ones at the moment. Just trying to see it disappeared behind this bush. You see it, Jandre? So I believe it started running. Yeah. So as Jean Ray was saying as well, there is an old den site. I'm just gonna try and loop around and see. Never know, maybe she's sneaked in here. I see there's quite a lot of tracks going up and down on the road here and where they were lying last night. So I want to just quickly have a look and see at the den. You never know. And wouldn't that be amazing if we had an active den again on Juma? I really, 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 really love hyena dens. They are absolutely value for money. They are great entertainment. The little ones are so cute. So I've never actually been to the den itself here. I just know about it because we used to see a lot of hyena activity in this area um, from the other side of the cut line. We're right on our southern boundary here. So when I used to be at Chitwa, we used to see these hyenas quite often on the roads. And I know that they went up here to den. So I just want to have a little quick look at the den site itself. So we're pretty much in line with where it ran. Imagine it was on this mound here on our left hand side. I don't see too many signs. There is a few tracks that Jean Ray is pointing out. And there we go. Look, there is a hyena on the den. Now, I'm not sure if it's got little ones, but it's sniffing around here. It doesn't look like it actually has. It's just come up and had a little sniff around. But there are tracks coming here, which is a really positive sign. Now, I wonder if she's not going to start thinking about moving her little ones to this den. Um, you do see it sometimes with hyenas. When they are looking, they'll try and kind of find an area, and then they move around, um, and they will then come and pick up their young ones and bring them back. So we'll have to just keep monitoring this area and seeing. Maybe we'll end up with an active den here. But that's really exciting, and I'm really glad we came and checked. The fact that that female is sniffing around is really, really good news. Um, so while we kind of just see, uh, she's actually just come back again. So let's just see. I wonder if she's not going to call the little ones out. Um, there is a hole just to the where she's going now. There we go. Um, and there is quite a bit of sort of movement at that hole. And there we go. In she goes. Isn't it amazing that that massive hyena can fit in such a small little hole? Um, so she squeezed herself in there. And I'm sure that there is young ones inside here. Um, just listening. I don't hear any sounds for little ones yet. I'm very, very sure that there is something inside there. I'm just going to move a little bit forward so that we can get a, maybe get a camera down that hole and just see. But isn't this exciting? There's definitely, this hyena has definitely made its way into that hole. Um, and let's see, there's the head of that hyena poking out. So, she, as you'll see, has got, look at that. Look at that, that hyena has just turned itself around and has parked itself in the hole. 
you can see it's now very very comfortable so still no sign of any young ones but I believe a lot of the viewers are very very excited about the prospect of a of a den and that would be unbelievable like I say I'm super super happy I hope that this will be um, an active den um, maybe if it's not active just yet that she's just getting to the point where she's gonna give birth she's not very heavily pregnant if she is but there's sign that there's milk developing there so I would imagine that she's already got um, they could be really really small um, from just the sort of entrance of the hole there there's really not that much activity <coughs> that would suggest that she's been here for a number of days um, so I wonder if maybe she hasn't given birth recently Now, Raola would like to know how deep the den is. Um, well, Raola, I'm not 100% sure. I, you know, with these kind of things, we often don't go creeping around inside there to see how deep it goes. But I would imagine it would be fairly spacious. I mean, you can see that adult female has been able to fit herself completely inside there. Um, and she would have excavated it out so that she can give birth and the little ones have space to grow and to move around inside there. Um, so I would imagine it's, it goes quite deep, um, but it's not going to be an endless cavern and tunnel. Alright, so while we sit here and just have a look if there's any signs of young ones, we're going to go back to Jamie and see what she's got with the leopard cubs.